Hey, welcome to another Flights with Joel. This is a quickie about how to install add-ons in your sim. I'm here at FlightSim.2 and we're going to search for a livery. Someone asked me about how to get liveries in the sim and I'm just going to show you what I do. I can't really show you what you might have to do in your sim. That might be a little bit different, but here it is. So uh, I already have this livery already downloaded, so I'm not going to do that one. We're going to move on and we're going to look for something I don't have so I can show you the whole process. Now, FlightSim.2 is the place I get most of my liveries. There are a few other places, but this should be the same for anyone. The difference is going to be when we install it into the sim. So let's search for something that I don't have. First of all, I'm not seeing anything I really want. So I'll put it in the search. What should I put in here? Helicopters. Not Hellcat. Helicopter. And that didn't help me much. I still got a whole bunch of aircraft. What did I do wrong? Oh well. I'll cruise down here and see if I can find what I am looking for. Did I not hit enter? What did I do wrong? Anyway. Uncategorized is probably going to have what I want. The Cohen, let's, let's try it, uh, 500E. Let's try 500E livery here. Let's hold on a sec. Not the B3. I rarely fly that, but uh, 500E. The aircraft is not included in the default game. Okay, so this one's kind of cool. I like the Sunrise one. There's endless amounts of liveries to choose from. If you are flying with me on Twitch, realize I don't have them all. There's just no way. So if there's a certain livery you want me to have so you can see yourself on the Twitch stream, let me know. I'll, I'll hopefully remember and put it in there. I am going to activate the flying engine for the next stream. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. That's for someone. So we download it. At first, it makes you wait a few seconds. 10 agonizing seconds, or you can upgrade to premium if you would like. Start download, and then I have the aircraft in a folder. It's a separate folder. So this is where I'm going to put this. I put my liveries with my aircraft, even though I have hundreds of them. I know how to find it real easy. I just go up to the downloads. I don't know what that Dropbox message is about. Go up to the downloads. Unzip it. And use the same name for the folder you're unzipping it to. That's important, too. So now find that unzipped folder and make sure it is correct. And once we get all this done, we'll see if we can see any of this on the video. because It's very blurry here as I try and record, but that's because the quality of the playback. So this is my community folder. If I was, didn't have the add-on linker, then I would put it, I would just put everything directly in here. There are many videos about how to find your community folder. So I, I'm going to trust that you can figure it out because I have confidence that you can. So now I'm going to open add-ons linker. And this is where all my stuff, my sceneries and my add-on aircraft and liveries reside. Add-on linker. It's an incredibly great tool. Some people are going to look at this and think, what are you even doing? You're not using this right. And that might be true, but it's working for me. So now I find the aircraft that I, the livery that I just downloaded. Sometimes I need a reminder. I have to go back and look at the exact name because people were, will have all kinds of bizarre names for their liveries. This is uh, under Cohen Sim, so easy to find. 
This should not be a problem. Now what am I doing? I'm trying to get back to this. Okay, here we go. So it is here. Now that's the aircraft, actually. That is not the livery. I'm checking this name again. What is it called exactly? Yeah, there it is. There's a name. Did I unzip it? That's fine. I did. I unzipped it. It's unzipped. So where is it? Here we are again. Sometimes it goes all the way down to this spot, and I don't know what the difference is. Um, so the there it is right there. I click it there. Now it should be active. Why it's, it looks like a folder or a red dot, I'm not sure. I always sometimes I think the the dotted ones are the ones that were done right, but I'm not 100% sure. Now I'm gonna start the sim. And I'm not gonna bore you with the entire five minute sim start. We'll just, I just make sure it's going and then I walk away. So let's make sure it's coming up. And there it is. I must not have recorded the sound when I was recording this. Okay, once it gets to this screen, right here, it's gonna take about four and a half more minutes. Jump ahead, we're in the sim. I go to the map page, I go up here and I look for this livery. So first I gotta find the aircraft, aircraft selection, jump over here. There it is. Now, did that livery make it into my sim? Scroll down here and find it. There's like a million liveries for the Cowan Sim. So I don't know why they people want to make more, but you know, make as many as you want. Just know that I won't have them all. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, I've got that one. Keep going, there it is. And there's the livery. And that is it. Problem solved or livery added. No profile assigned. That is spad.next, a whole different thing. That would be hours of more video. Let's look at it though. I wanna, I just want, like to look at things in the, um, in my hangar. This is a good way to look at things, I think. Thanks so much for watching. This has been another Flights with Joel, really quickie. Subscribe and save. Flights with Joel on Twitch.